Okay, here are three killer productivity tricks for you to squeeze more efficiency out of the same number of hours each day. Here they are in no particular order. The first one I've got for you, cut carbs and sugar from your diet. Yeah, I know it sounds ridiculous that diet tips get included in productivity hacks, especially as they relate to business, but seriously, cutting sugar and cutting way, way down on your carbs will skyrocket your energy levels. For myself, by making the simple change of cutting carbs and cutting sugar from my diet, my energy and my mood has stabilized throughout the day. So no crazy mood swings or hunger pangs or anything like that. Seriously, give it a try for yourself for a week and see and experience it for yourself. Okay, next, don't check email right away in the morning. And this goes for social media feeds too. This used to be a big bad habit of mine, but think about it this way. Your inbox is a to-do list that anyone who has your email address can add items to. Now, do you want to wake up to that every single morning? <laughs> I sure don't. Instead, the first thing in the morning that we should be doing is going after our biggest, most pressing issue for the day. The way that I do this is the night before I make my to-do list for the next day. That way, as soon as I wake up in the morning, I can get moving on the next big tasks that I've got to tackle. Once again, try it out for yourself for a few days. You will absolutely love it. All right, the third item I've got here for you, this one is huge. Cut gossipers, bad influences, bullies, narcissists, time wasters, haters, trolls, and so on. Cut them all out of your life. Seriously. Honestly, if you haven't done this yet, you have no idea how much of your mental capacity, how much of your energy, and how much of your time is taken up by these sorts of emotional and mental leeches. I think of it as a garden. You gotta yank out the weeds and the junk so that all the good stuff can flourish. And that is exactly what you're doing. You're getting rid of all the bad stuff, all the negative stuff to make room for all the good stuff. Trust me, it is like a whole new life. If you'd like, in the experiment of life, try going a week without being in contact with these sorts of people. Once again, the results, I promise you, will be absolutely astonishing. As a matter of fact, because this is such a huge issue, let's dig a little bit deeper into it for just a moment, because I know it can be kind of a touchy subject for some people. So for myself, I have a few rules, a few guidelines around this topic. First, don't feed the online trolls. It's astonishing to me that people would argue on the internet. Like, really? <laughs> no one in the history of the internet has ever said, you know you're right. You make a really solid point. You totally changed my mind. That has never happened in the history of the internet. So why waste the time and the effort on such a zero gain activity? Second, don't let losers ruin your day. This is definitely hard to apply, but try your best. Do these people who are criticizing you, do they know you personally? Do they know about your goals, your objectives? Do they know about your values? If they don't, then what they say or what they think, frankly, is absolutely irrelevant. Third, no narcissists allowed, no exception. <laughs> now, I'm not talking about characteristics of narcissism. I'm talking about diagnosable narcissistic personality disorder. I've had some run-ins with what I've learned is narcissists and sociopaths or people who suffer from narcissistic personality disorder. What does any of this have to do with productivity? Everything. <laughs> free your time, free your mind, free up your energy for much more worthwhile things like your online business. 
Now, since I'm on a roll here, here's a bonus productivity tip for you. Stop and take the time to figure out what works for you. In other words, experiment. So are you a morning person or are you a night owl? Do you like working by yourself or in a group? Figuring out how you like to work and what your preferences are goes a long, long way to being more productive. Now, I know, I get it. None of these are really earth shattering. They aren't new. You've likely heard them before, but guess what? We don't need new and <laughs> we don't need earth shattering ideas to make big changes in our lives and in our business. What we need to do is apply these ideas in our lives and in our business. That is the secret. Okay, now here's what's next. If you're enjoying this kind of content and you're ready to take the next big steps forward in your online business, head on over to 10tononline.com forward slash free. There I've put together for you a self-paced online business workshop, which is loaded with clear in-depth insights for you to get your online business up and running. I look forward to seeing you there.